हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बायो केमिस्ट्री बेड ऑफ टी के प्रभाकर फ्रॉम टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ सीरीज ऑन मिनरल्स सो हियर वी विल टॉक अबाउट ऑल द मिनरल्स एंड देयर मेटाबॉलिक प्रोसेस देयर फंक्शंस देयर डिजीज एंड ऑल द एसोसिएट बायो केमिस्ट्री ऑफ दोस मिनरल्स सो लेट अस टुडे जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू क्लासिफाई द मिनरल्स एंड देन एवरी डे वी विल हैव एवरी डे और एवरी अल्टरनेट डे वी विल हैव वन मिनरल एंड देयर मेटाबॉलिक प्रोसेसेस सो let us understand what is minerals uh, if you will see the minerals minerals are very important for our human body or not only for human for every living system every living they are having various roles in our body uh, in the metabolism or different body functions so minerals are indispensable part of uh, complete diet of humans and animals and several vital functions which are absolutely essential for our existence for the uh, survival of the cells for the uh, vital functions of the cells there we require these minerals like if you we'll see the important functions of minerals in our body some of the important common functions are like a calcification of bone and bone formation and their functions uh, blood coagulations blood clotting processes uh, neurons and neuronal uh, irritability their functions signal transmissions acid base balance homeostasis uh, fluid balance or water level uh, water homeostasis osmotic regulations all these functions are uh, associated with minerals or minerals normally play certain roles in these functions if you'll see some of the functions of uh, these uh, minerals what are the important vital functions they are going to perform in our body are like some minerals are integral part of the biological important compounds like hemoglobin you know Uh, which is essential for the oxygen and carbon dioxide or gaseous transportation in our body uh, so there we are having iron so iron is one of the important component of hemoglobin uh, thyroxin a uh, thyroid hormone you might have heard about so there we are having iodine insulin cannot functions without the zinc so zinc is important for insulin and their functions uh, vitamin b12 there we are having cobalt Uh, so similarly we are having uh, these are some of the uh, our proteins which requires minerals for their functions their activities if we'll see some of other uh, minerals like sulfur that is present in the different vitamins like thiamine biotin lipoic acid coenzyme a their sulfur is playing a, their significant role some other minerals which participate as a core factor for the function of many enzymes uh, which may, uh, they are involved in metabolic functions or some other processes like manganese magnesium copper zinc potassium some elements are essential constituent of certain specific enzymes like cobalt you just know you have seen uh, molybdenum selenium so uh, these are some of the important functions uh, other than this one a metabolic uh, process is one of the important process where we requires minerals uh, breathing circulation of blood uh, digestions elimination of waste products body temperature regulations homeostasis so normally for all these processes we require minerals uh, it has been observed that there are uh, almost at least 29 different types of elements present in our body or in a living system these uh, minerals you can classify into two broad classes organic components uh, where we are having carbohydrates proteins and lipids which normally constitute more than 90% of the solid matter in our body and which is mainly come from forms of carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen uh, but i'm not talking about all those uh, organic components uh, carbohydrate protein lipid and uh, vitamins and uh, so here we are going to classify minerals minerals are broadly classified into two broad category uh, they are called as macro minerals and micro minerals as its name suggests macro means larger or higher and micro means smaller when our requirement uh, is more than 100 mg per day or those minerals which re- uh, which is required in our body more than 100 mg per day they are called as macro minerals and those minerals which uh, requirement in our body is less than 100 mg per day is known as micro minerals uh, if will uh, total seven macro minerals we are having and micro minerals we are having number of uh, micro minerals here uh, i have shown you some only important micro minerals or it is also called as trace minerals because our requirement is very less uh, micro mi- macro minerals which is seven that is sulfur sodium potassium magnesium calcium chloride and phosphorus so if you we'll see the mi- important function of these seven macro minerals are like calcium uh, it has number of functions but one of the important function is 
uh, it is uh, normally required for the uh, bones and teeth formations chloride they are also having number of functions but it is going to assist in the form of production of hormones maintain blood pressures and some other functions also magnesium uh, it helps our body to absorb nutrients promotes uh, good circulation and number of other functions phosphorus again uh, formation of bone and teeth we require potassium homeostasis of blood pressures blood, uh, means, uh, then uh, we are having uh, for the acid base balance we are having there we require uh, potassium sodium also we require for uh, homeostasis of ph balance as a buffer systems uh, blood volume maintenance blood pressure maintenance sulfur again uh, for the joints and bone one by one we will see uh, the basic requirement of these things like first calcium that is the major constituents of our bones and teeth it is also required for muscle contractions nerve signal transmissions neural transmissions or you can call it uh, for the function of uh, neurotransmitters when we are having calcium deficiency it is normally going to cause uh, rickets and osteomalacy osteoporosis will be caused it's a recommended dietary allowance is 0 0.8 to 1 gram per day a major source is milk and milk product leafy vegetables and beans similarly we are having phosphorus uh, which is again major constituents of bone and teeth for the formation of high energy phosphorus like a, you might have heard about atp gtp ctp uh, other uh, high energy compounds nucleotides coenzymes absence of phosphorus because it is also a form uh, helps in the formation of bones and teeth so it's absence or it's a deficiency going to cause rickets and osteomalacia it's also a recommended rda value is 0 0.8 to 1 gram per uh, day and it's a major source is uh, milk cereals leafy vegetables magnesium again constituents of bone teeth cofactor for enzymes like some of the kinases wherever we are having synthase enzymes atp will involve in any enzymatic activity there we require magnesium so it requires uh, its if deficiency is going to cause neuromuscular weaknesses or irritations its requirement is slightly less than the uh, calcium and phosphorus that is 300 to 350 mg per day and cereals vegetables fruits and uh, milks are its major sources sodium one of the uh, major cations of the extracellular fluids it helps in the osmotic balance acid base balance uh, water ho level homeostasis nerves and muscles their and their functions and uh, deficiency if we don't have uh, sodium or sodium will be deficient normally almost all the functions will be affected uh, because it requires for everything acid base balance extracellular uh, osmotic pressure maintenance nerve signal contraction relaxation its requirement is slightly higher than the sodium um, uh, calcium and phosphorus that is 5 to 10 gram per day and normally we get sodium from the table salts then potassium that is again extracellular uh, chief cations of the extracellular uh, fluids uh, sorry intracellular fluids it also requires for acid base balance osmotic pressure maintenance on muscle functions it is also going to cause muscle weakness when it's if it will be indeficient its requirement will be slightly less than sodium that is three to four gram per day and normally we get potassium from the fruits dry fruits nuts and vegetables chlorine that regulates the acid base balance formation of uh, hydrochloric acid in our GIT tract and uh, 5 to 10 gram it requires and normally we get from in the form of sodium chloride from the table salts and last will be sulfur which is the constituent of sulfur containing amino acids uh, certain uh, vitamins like thiamine biotin uh, coenzyme a there we are having required some of the other protein uh, factors like heparin uh, chondrite sulfate there we require it and normally we get from sulfur containing amino acids similarly we are having micro minerals also um, these micro minerals are going to be basically broadly classified into three categories that is essential trace elements possibly essential trace elements and non-essential trace elements depending on uh, how our body requires them so if it is very essential for our body uh, without that one we cannot survive it or it is going to cause many diseases we are going to call it essential trace elements like iron copper iodine manganese zinc molybdenum cobalt fluoride selenium and chromium these are called as these are uh, categorized in the essential trace elements second one we are having possibly essential trace elements uh, they are not very uh, essential it is not uh, essentially requires it but in absence of that one we are going to have some kind of functions will be affected so there we are having nickel vanadium cadmium and barium a non essential trace element if we are having these elements it is uh, good for our body even if it is not there uh, it is not going to cause any kind of drawbacks so like aluminium, lead, mercury, boron, silver and bismuth. 
so these are our uh, micro minerals if you'll see the micro minerals we are having iron copper iodine manganese zinc molybdenum cobalt fluorine selenium and chromium if you'll see their functions like iron uh, one of the major constituents of hemoglobin myoglobin cytochrome different kind of cytochromes enzymes and mainly it requires for oxidations biological oxidation processes copper that is the constituents of many enzymes like uh, tyrosinase uh, catalases cytochrome c oxidase iodine thyroxine or thyroid hormones manganese for any kind of uh, uh, cofactor for many enzymes like arginase pyruvate carboxylase or enzymatic activity for zinc for insulin activity for lactate dehydrogenase activity l12 dehydrogenase activity molybdenum again constituents of some of the enzymes cobalt or constituents of vitamin b12 uh, fluorines normally formation of proper uh, normally our bones and teeth especially we are when we are going to do uh, toothpaste there you might have seen about that fluorides will be there selenium it involves in antioxidant functions and chromium it normally provides uh, promotes the insulin functions so, so uh, one by one we will talk about all these minerals this is one kind of cate one category of classification uh, sometimes if you might have heard about some of the books they are going to classify minerals into different uh, way so there we are having five major groups of minerals like group one there we are having carbon hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen uh, components of the macro minerals and such as carbon to, um, which is compound uh, composed of these four components like carbohydrate protein and lipids second group of uh, minerals are nutritionally important mineral which is required more than 100 mg that we are going to call here macro minerals third groups that is trace elements uh, whose requirement will be less than 100 mg per dl uh, fourth group is these are uh, additional trace elements which may be possibly essential and fifth group is these are not essential elements so that is another way of classification but most of the books you might have seen in major micro minerals and macro minerals uh, micro minerals we are having uh, essentially trace uh, non essentially trace and possibly essential trace so this is basics about the minerals and from next day onwards we will have uh, one minerals every day we will talk about so hope you have got the basic information about the minerals and if you like the video, press the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe it. You can press the bell button so that you will get all the notifications on time. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.